Hello you guys, I hope you guys are all doing great. I came up with this nail art design, you guys. It was my parents' 43 year anniversary and I was wrapping up my mother's present. And this is the wrapping paper I chose for her present. Uh, it's gold on one side and then it's silver on the other side. So we always have wrapping paper left, so I thought wouldn't it be nice if I could come up with a design using this particular wrapping paper. So what I did, I cut strips of the wrapping paper and on the straight side what I did is I got scissors and I cut them in thin thin little strips so those are the ones I'm using for the nail art now the tips I could give you on applying them so they'll stay on is that try is the thinner you cut them the easier they'll stay down once you apply your top coat I have had to apply about two top coats so they could stay down from the free edge another tip I can give you is don't bring them all the way to the nails free edge a little bit before in either direction cut them a little bit shorter on all sides that you're going to be using that helps them stay down so let's get started the design we're going to do is going to be the one on the thumb they're all different from all of them but you could do them all the same if you'd like but this is the one we're going to be working on the thumb one let me put it a little bit closer so you guys get a feel. They all look like little wrapped up gifts. That's what they remind me of. So uh, what we're going to do is this one right here and then we're going to apply the two rhinestones. They all have a rhinestone except for the, t the small one. It just has one rhinestone. All the rest have two rhinestones including the thumb. So let's get started. This is the one we're going to do. I have pre-cut the little pieces. That's how tiny I've done them and if you can even do them thinner than that, that's great. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my clear nail polish. And you remember, you're already wearing your base color, your base coat, and the color of your choice. I chose red for this one. So I'm going to apply, I'm going to clean out my brush as clean as I could of clear polish. And I'm going to apply a coat very thinly where I want my first stripe to go. So I'm going to get the first little golden stripe and I'm going to place it just like that. Okay, so I'm going to get my toothpick or your dotting tool or whatever you have and I'm just going to run it on top to make sure that it's nice and flat, especially from the tips, the edges of the strip. Okay, so there we have one. Even applying one is so pretty. But this is such, this is something fun to do. I mean, you could even cut the wrapping paper into shapes. If you're going to do this, do also make sure that you at least have two to three coats under. I'm going to apply a second. And remember, I'm, I'm not my brush isn't heavily filled. It's just lightly filled. Okay, so I've applied the second one. And with my toothpick or with your stick or whatever you're using, flatten it out. Flatten it out, especially paying close attention to the to the tips, just like that. And if you have wrapping paper with different colors, um, you can also do that. Okay, so we've done our two stripes. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get my third stripe and I'm going to apply that one starting from this corner, going all the way across to this corner. Um, not going all the way to the free edge though. I don't want it to fall off later on. So we're going to start off cleaning out our brush and we're going to place it from this side all the way to that side. Okay. So I'm going to get my little strip right here and I'm going to apply it somewhere around there and I'm going to adjust it to where I need it. Okay. So if that's where I see I need it, maybe it could be, need to be a little bit higher but I don't think so. Okay, so all I'm doing is that sort of thing. Let me see, maybe I need to place it a little bit higher. Well, you, you move it around and you play with it and see how high or how low you're going to be needing it. Okay, so I think maybe this one could be a little bit lower. Okay. And I'm going to just flatten it out. Okay, I let it dry a little too much. I go a little bit lower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of the clear polish on this area here and I'm going to let it dry a little bit 
because that's another thing. Um, you have to allow it to dry a little bit so it could be sticky and and if it's sticky that way it'll stay down. So I'm going to try and do it like that. Okay. okay. And that will make it stay down. I remember the thinner your strips are, the easier it will be for them to stay down. Okay, so we've done that so far. The next thing we're going to do, I'm going to get my last little strip and I'm going to place this one on the opposite side, starting here, going that way. Okay, so I'm going to apply my coat this time and I'm thinning it out as thin as I can, the coat, because I don't want it to be too wet. So we're going to apply it in this direction right here, in between. So I'm going to get my little coat and another thing is that make sure that your wrapping paper is um, thin. The thinner the wrapping paper is, the easier it will be for you to um, use it for your nail art. Okay, so all I'm doing is placing it. Okay, I'm going to have to go down a little on my nail art like that. Okay, okay so I'm going to pay close attention to the corner here. Okay, I'm going to apply polish in that area. I'm going to wait for it to get a little bit gooey and I'm just going to be pressing down on the rest of it to make it like a little star there, like a little gift. So that will stay down. So just make sure, you know, it takes a little bit of time to do this, but it's really fun. And nobody will even guess that you have wrapping paper on your nails. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the clear polish again, and this time I'm going to get my rhinestone wheel with the red rhinestones, and that's the color I'm going to use, the red rhinestones, okay? So I'm going to glop the middle piece of my star, let me place that one there, okay, I'm going to glop the, the middle piece of my star, And I'm going to glop that middle right there, and then I'm going to glop this area here. Okay, the lower area and the top area. So I'm going to get my stick, I'm going to dip it a little bit, I'm going to pick my red rhinestone, okay, and I'm going to place it in the middle of the star right there. Okay, and then I'm going to place another one on this area over here. Right there. Oh, 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 that one wants to travel to the top. Right there. So that's it, you guys. That's how you guys are going to get this nail art design done. It's very easy to do, and it's, I don't know, they, they remind me of little presents. All the nails remind me of little presents. I hope you guys like this idea and try it out. Maybe not in the silver one. You can try different kinds of wrapping paper. Just remember, cut them into really thin slices. Uh, that's that's what I noticed that helps them stay down. The thinner they are, the more they'll stay down. And another thing is, remember, you have to have two to three coats under before applying them. And another thing is, don't cut them all the way to the free edge of your nail in either direction. Make sure they're shorter. Take care, you guys. Be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.